Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica, and if you're not new here, welcome back. Today's video is a collaboration that I was asked to participate in. It's called 24 Hours in Your Life Challenge, and it is hosted by my sweet YouTube friend, Liliana. She lives in the UK, but she is originally from Portugal, and her channel is called Vanilla and Canela, which are her two favorite spices, by the way. And Liliana is a military wife. Her husband is currently deployed right now. So she's kind of having to be mom and dad to their little boy, Alex, who is super adorable. I mean, just like super, he's into superheroes. So cute, so sweet. So make sure to check out her channel. I will have it linked below along with the playlist of everyone else participating in this. Um, and if you're looking for a channel that is just uplifting and positive and calming, I mean, seriously, you will love her channel. I love watching her. Um, every time I see her video pop up on my, on my uh, feed, it's like, I'm so excited because it's so, like, my life is a little hectic. Her videos just seem so calming. Her home, everything about it is just so calm. Her voice is so soothing. So if you're looking for, for someone to watch like that, I'm telling you, check out her channel. You will not regret it. She's amazing. So um, she asked me to be in this collab, and I was super excited. I said, absolutely, I would do it. And originally, I planned on doing it whenever it was like an average you know, day in my life. I'm supposed to start at one certain time one day and end 24 hours later. So right now it is exactly 12.30. So um, that's when I'm picking up the camera and it is Thursday, so I will go till Friday at 12.30. But um, all week I kept thinking, I'll do it Monday, I'll do it Tuesday, I'll do it Wednesday. But my son has been extremely sick this week. He has literally been sick since Saturday night, running a high fever. This is day five of a really high fever. And um, we went to the doctor yesterday morning and basically they can't find anything. They're running some tests. We'll know tomorrow for sure if it's just viral, but we think it is just a horrible, horrible viral infection. So he um, is running 103, 104 fever. This morning it was up to 103 again. And so my um, stress level has been kind of high, but I have been... Um, thinking well, I'm gonna just show you my average day but this is not an average week so I'm just picking it up today and I'm starting it today so it's gonna go till tomorrow I have no idea if he's going to school tomorrow I'm thinking probably not we actually got a doctor's note for the whole week but that's another story so I'm sorry it's not like an average day but it is just gonna be a day in my life still because I'm a mom and things happen your kids get sick so right so Right now I'm on my way to Walmart because I have some really super great friends who are nurses and if you're watching you know who you are who have given me some great advice. I'm going to get some Gatorade and some popsicles and things like that and hopefully we're going to get this boy well because I'm so tired of my baby being sick. Lots of prayer. Hi, but that's what it takes. So I'm headed to Walmart and then I'm going to, I promised him I'd pick him up some Chick-fil-A on the way home. Thank you. I don't need any. Thank you so much. You too. All right, well, I'm home now, and I know you saw what I got, but I'm just gonna show you. I got orange, um, yellow, orange fruit pops, which we've never tried, but it says it has real orange juice, so that's always good. 
and I got a new toothbrush because, you know, when you're sick, you're supposed to replace your toothbrushes. More Motrin. This is literally my third bottle of Motrin. And then a friend suggested this elderberry syrup, so I'm definitely trying that. Then I got him a couple Gatorade because that's really good for him with the electrolytes. So I'm hoping to push lots of fluids. Well, there's my boy <laughs> lounging on the couch. How many days have we? How many days have you been doing this? Four. Let me hear your voice. Say, hey, my name's Jackson. Let us hear your voice. It's so scratchy because your throat is so sore. Never. You're not gonna tell us. No. What are you watching? What are you watching? Team Edge. Team Edge. His favorite. Sitting on the couch watching TV is fine with me. I'm not letting him get up and get um, be wild because that's the last thing he needs is to bring his fever back up. Hey, I got you some Gatorade. I want you to take a big drink right now. And I got me a Chick fil A sandwich too because it's just easier that way. And I need to take my pills today. All right, it's two o'clock and it has been six hours <clears throat> since we took Jackson's temperature, which let's see, I think it was totally normal. It was the first time it's been normal. 98.8, well, that's basically normal. So we're just gonna take it again just to see. Well, good grief. 100.5. I have got to pull my hair up. You probably noticed that in almost all my videos, my hair is in a ponytail. And it's not by choice. See how thin my hair is? You can probably already tell, but it's basically like as thin as like a toddler's hair. But I started about two years ago taking some medication and unfortunately it has thinned my hair i mean i've always had thin hair but now it's like ridiculously thin so there's not a lot i can do about it i started taking biotin um at my daughter's suggesting because she is actually going to go to school to be a hairstylist so she she knows about all these kinds of things so i started taking biotin about six weeks ago and she cut my hair so it could maybe look a little thicker at the bottom but i just still it just is so thin so in case you're ever wondering why my hair is always up i try to leave it down and then it just drives me crazy so that's why it's up but speaking of hair today madison has been hired i guess to do someone's hair to do a balayage which she has done before so she, she's not in hair school yet but she is going next year so it's really sweet to when people ask her to like do their hair just gives her experience <coughs> and she's really good <coughs> so at four the girl's coming over right now madison is out with her best friend they're shopping because they are they both applied for a job at the mall and they wanted to buy interview outfits or something so it's just me and Jackson, Marion, my husband, works from home. In case you didn't know that, he is a web designer. Web, not designer, he's a, I don't know what his title kind of changes. He builds websites, he actually does the coding and everything. Web developer? And he, that's terrible. <laughs> but anyway, he is self-employed, so he is back there in his little office. So that's why I left Jackson home earlier when I went out. 
So I'm just going to get some housework done right now, and then I think um, just sit down and relax a couple hours until I have to start dinner because that's when kind of like the craziness starts is the evening. So. my sweet boy. He likes to balance on my leg. <laughs> and there's Elena. Say hey. Hi. She's home from school right now. Bell Bell. <laughs> She's all curled up in a blanket. It's a scarf actually. A scarf. A scarf. scarf. Mm. It's from Andrew. Aw. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Come on Bell. Come on. Let's go outside. Crazy dogs. I think I'm gonna leave my door open today. It feels so good outside. Um, I want to go out and show you my driveway because we are getting this is super exciting, I know, but when you're a homeowner, things like a new driveway are exciting. And we have had, if you've watched my vlogs, you've seen probably that we have had a crazy amount of rain this year which only contributed to our you're not going out ollie our driveway um destroying our driveway it's horrible so, um we in august beginning of august i want to show you my house number <laughs> beginning of august we um talked to them about a place about doing a driveway for us and it is now october 18th 17th 18th this is, you know, the part when you drive in, and then look at this trench. Look at that. That is my driveway. Isn't that awful? And see these trees right here. These are the roots. And every rain we get, it gets worse and worse and worse. But we won't have to drive over any of this anymore. It is really got it's been bad but it is like seriously like see this trench right here this is literally like a waterfall whenever it rains and we have tried the rocks obviously but guess what happens the rocks are all washed out into the streets so that's tomorrow morning they're gonna be here bright and early also I never showed you my porch there's my wreath I did show you that in my fall home decor tour but my porch I'll give you an overview of my porch. I'm not gonna show you all the way down at the bottom here because there's um, there's a bucket of flowers and it has my address on it, so I just have to keep that out of the shop. But this is a table that my, it used to be inside, my husband built it and I wanted, I wanted to cut the legs off and maybe we'll put it over here as like a little coffee table. I'm not sure yet, but we got this rug at Walmart. I got it um, at the end of the summer. And I turned my bench that way. My dream is to like put a railing up here and maybe, I don't know, make some like, um, what are they called? Like the drop cloth curtains and then some lights and then I need to repaint all of this. And I planned on doing that like at the end of the summer, but I just, I wasn't able to. But, um, and I wanted to do like a full porch tour and everything and I just, 
I just kind of put some stuff up. I put, I've had this uh, star forever and I got this went in my Hobby Lobby haul. Now I'll show you this too. This is just sitting out here to dry, but my daughter and I found this. Someone was throwing away and we are gonna be redoing her basement bedroom pretty soon. So I have um, that we're gonna, we have some great ideas we're gonna be painting that it's gonna be beautiful so if you came over to my channel from my basement bedroom makeover that video um, gained me a lot of subscribers and I've had some really great comments and it's been a little bit blowing my mind lately how many people have come over from that but um, be looking for another one because my so it's a long story but when the roofers come they're gonna cut out this oil tank that's downstairs and when they do then my daughter's gonna have her room makeover so we're waiting for that and that's going to be just as beautiful so stay tuned for that video coming up but that um, piece of wood that little wood bitch is going to be in her bedroom energy you've had in three days so while you're feeling okay time for a shower come on Jackson I'm not gonna drag you in there come on go take a shower Gus is getting ready for her hair appointment she's got all her tools of the trade right here this stuff intimidates me I don't know anything about hair but She's good at it. Come on, Jackson, get up and use your feet. Yeah, this is the Jackson we know and love right here. <laughs> Madison's waiting for her hair appointment, but she has social anxiety, which is a very real thing. And she gets really stressed out when she has to talk with people and, you know, communicate. So she means, like, cool. Can you'll, you'll like her. Y'all will be... Y'all will hit it off. You're both named Maddie, so He's hot she can't be that bad. <laughs> well, to suits Ma Madison's anxiety. <laughs> we put in her favorite movie. Maybe that will take the edge off. If you suffer from social anxiety, you know what she's going through. Okay, well, it is 5.30 and Jackson it's time to take your temperature again, okay? I don't think you have a fever this time, but we're going to take it anyway, okay? He's in here watching Garfield on his laptop. All right, under the tongue, keep it real still. Looking good. Yay, no fever. Yay. It doesn't say NF in the bottom. <laughs> for no fever no but that makes me happy so it's 5 30 usually about how many a couple of hours from now it's usually like every six hours this fever's spiking so hopefully um it stays down that is my hope but i'm gonna go make dinner now <laughs> Madison has her hair appointment going on but i am gonna make dinner now I'm going to make French toast, eggs, bacon, breakfast for dinner.
love making French toast with this. I've never tried it before, but I saw somebody make it and it is delicious. Well, there's Elena's dinner. It is going to go in the microwave because she is oh, at school. What in the world was that? That was a fly. <laughs> he likes to catch flies barehanded and then throw them outside. <laughs> I don't know why these flies keep getting in the house. Anyway, here's my French toast. Was the French toast good? I haven't had any. It is good. It is delicious. Oh, I guess I need to open that. Kitchen. So Madison finished with her hair appointment and she liked it. Should have got a video of Maddie before she left, but she might think I'm weird if I'm trying to videotape her. So let me take Elena's food out. Yours is right there. You can make that toast if you want. And then Elena, Elena should be home soon. She's at a meeting at school. But I'm gonna sit down and I have got to get a video edited to get it up tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then pretty, I guess in like an hour and a half, Jackson's gonna go to bed. I'm not sending him to school tomorrow. He was running 103 this morning, 103.9 yesterday morning. So I'm not convinced that it's all gone, but I'm, hoping that when he wakes up in the morning it's not another morning like that so it's so sad when your kids are sick i hate it look at that little booger what are you doing are you comfy are you so comfy ollie <laughs> so i stole one of his popsicles oh my word these are good if you haven't tried them it's literally like frozen orange juice which hits the spot tonight when i had bacon and eggs for dinner 8.42 p.m. I'm downloading some videos. Lady, where are you going? I'm going to bring Andrew dinner. Yeah. He's, He's what a good girlfriend. He's what? He's a working scaremare. He's in the cold all night. Couch has got him. What couch has got him? Couch! Outside, I'm gonna the staircase. The little <laughs> sidewalk and the stairs. We try to go up every time. Not my problem. <laughs> oh, what time is it? 9:41. I'm almost done with this vlog, and 
Jackson, it is bedtime. Did you have fun? Did Andrew get his dinner? He did. One that night. I almost got stuck on a gravel hill. So. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. She's got inches. Yeah, Elena, um, you know, had a wreck, and she's That's having a little bit of anxiety from it, but she's doing good. She's trying. Oh, them fighting like they do. Elena! Madison's favorite thing to say, Elena! She yells it to me in her sleep. Oh, yeah, I know. You better get off me, Jackson. Okay. She's so afraid he's gonna breathe on her and make her sick because she has too much to do to be sick. Five minutes and then he's gonna get off this and he's gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna upload this and then I'm gonna go to sleep. You gotta brush your teeth. Okay, quickly. Now. Hi. Go. So, go, go brush your teeth. You gotta take your medicine. Candy run at what 10 o'clock at night and a coke run. Okay, well, yeah. to be teenagers, not again. The drug. well, not the drug. Gotcha. Bye. Bye. 101 a.m. and it is way too late. I should have already been in bed, but YouTube was giving me problems, so trying to upload. So, going to bed. I always like to check on Jackson right before I go to bed, make sure he's not got a fever. I don't feel any fever. Hey, sweet girl. And looks like the roofers, I mean the driveway pavers are here. I gotta go move the van. Got my hat on so I look halfway decent. And of course my dogs are gonna bark and wake up the whole house because that's just what they do. So this day is gonna be a long day of them barking all day long. They're so bad about barking at people they see outside our house. And there's gonna be lots of people all day so my nerves are probably gonna be shot i think i'm just gonna like put them up every now and then so that i can have a break but i have a small house so you can hear barking but anyway this is the day we have waited for and i'm so excited and i'm so excited jackson doesn't have a fever and it's friday so all in all it's a great day oh my gracious it is cold this morning typical 24 hours normally he'd have been up at 7 7 15 and then you know he would have been at school but I am letting him sleep so I don't know what time he's gonna get up but you know what I'm not gonna get him up okay, well it is 10 10 Jackson is still sleeping so I'm gonna take advantage of it and get in the shower so watching the, I've just been watching the papers all morning. It's kind of keeping me from doing any housework. Look who's finally awake. How are you? 
feeling better? Going back to a sleep. Do you want some cereal? I'm gonna just take your temperature and make sure there's none before we get too excited. <laughs> Let me grab the thermometer. I'll get your Xbox controller just a second. I just talked to Jackson's teacher, it's 11.15, and she said that she's gonna get all his work together and I can come pick it up. So I think pretty soon, in five hours, I think pretty soon I'm gonna do that so that he can at least maybe do some work. So that'll be good, that way he won't be like terribly behind. Oh, you're such a licker. That's so gross. That's so gross when you lick me. Here is lunch today. Jackson wanted his veggie pasta and I'm having some leftover rice. Okay, right at noon and I am headed up to the school and the bank. I'm gonna leave Jackson here with Marion. Look at my beautiful driveway. I'm so excited. This is probably getting on y'all's nerves, but I just am so excited. We've lived here 14 years and we've only had a gravel and dirt pathway. So this is super exciting. Guys, gonna have a rough week next week trying to catch it up. We'll do the best we can this weekend. All right, guys. Well, it is now 12:30 on Friday afternoon. So it's been 24 hours in my life. It wasn't like a typical 24 hours, like with um, you know everything that normally goes on. It was a few different things going on this time, but yeah, like Jackson being sick. But it was 24 hours in my life. So. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you made it to the end, you're amazing. And uh, thank you to all my amazing new subscribers. And there's Madison. <laughs> um, so before I go, I will show you what my driveway looks like. You can probably hear them pulling away now. They um, literally finished that in four hours and it's awesome. So I'll let you see that before I close this out. But make sure you go check out Lily Anna's channel. Vanilla and Canela is her channel. And I'm telling you, you're gonna love her. You're gonna you're gonna get hooked. So and check out the playlist with all the other videos, all the other people that participated in this collab. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.